Hello Lola's. Welcome back to my channel. So of course I'm here. You guys know you guys are gonna see so much of him since it's like crazy. So I am here with baby Nigel. I was doing a video with him and Noah and then I got interrupted. Um, my guy came over of course. You know he cooked dinner and all that great jazz for um, Super Bowl. And so I was just like, well, I just scratched the, the video. I don't know. Maybe I'll upload it. I don't know. But anyway, probably was best that I didn't. <laughs> um, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. And make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Um, I will be going live in the chatterbox pretty soon here. Um, I just, I have a lot going on this week. So, it's like this week I was praying, preparing for, last weekend I was preparing for this week. So, we will, we will do a live soon enough. But, um, this guys is the, um, Willow Awake by Claire Teller Dolls and I've been getting quite a bit of questions so I'm going to try to answer as many as I can in this video. Um, he is the prototype number three. Um, as you guys know, um, she did the Willow Asleep first and I think it was a total of, what was it because she did sets of five, 15 in that edition? I think so. And then, so then she she did the awake, um, and now she's doing the awake edition, which it was three prototypes, I believe. Yeah, it was three prototypes in the sleep, and it's three prototypes in the awake. So there is two girls, um, two Caucasian girls, and one light biracial boy. And um, so I have the boy asleep and the boy awake. Um, there would be 30 in his edition. Um, and you can go to her website at Claire Teller Dolls and get the details. But, um, like I said, he, he is the last prototype for the edition. Um, I'm pretty sure there won't be any more painted, um, Willow Awakes by Claire Teller at this time as far as I know um just based off of the information that I've read so um the question was for the question that I was I've been getting is basically um did I paint him no <laughs> so if that answer that the prototype means that this baby was fully completed by the artist and sculptor herself um well that's not what it means but that's that's what it is in this case. Um, the prototype is usually the first ones to give you an idea of what the kit will look like, so on and so forth. Um, so the first one was auctioned off, um, which um, she took offers. And the, the person that made the highest offer got the baby, which there's a difference between the bids and offers. So I was talking to a couple of my collective friends that actually was speaking about the difference between eBay and when you do private auctions and you do offers. So with a bid, the bid is the highest bid. So let's say somebody bid $50 and then somebody bid $100. Usually eBay will adjust it down to where you would end up paying like $51 because it's going by the highest bid. So they usually cut in between. When you make an offer, whatever price you're offering to pay, that's like saying, I'm, I'm gonna give you this. Then that's what you're gonna give. It's, it don't bounce back. So that's the difference between an offer and a bid. If somebody's taking bids, then yeah, the, the price is supposed to drop down. Okay, so that's that. Um, the other thing, and I, and I let me say this to you guys, I don't really wanna get into the technical stuff of how this lady do her business, et cetera, et cetera. 
but a lot of people I've gotten a lot of questions like oh how did you get him and I didn't even see him on the website he wasn't even published and all that and stuff and of course everything that happens everything that I do of course is gonna be you know scrutinized a little bit more than the average person I guess because you know I'm here and I'm on YouTube so it's visible but number two was not auctioned off as well um number two apparently was a straight purchase now she did share photos of number two however like everybody else was privy to the information she did share that she had been sick and so but when i saw that number two hadn't been auctioned i reached out to her and you know made my offer and basically um there was so of course you know i i kind of got an idea i don't really know what the first one is went for but i trust claire taylor integrity and her honesty um and i've done business with her a lot um most of my claire taylor babies that i bought has been bought directly from her um not second market which nothing wrong with second market i'm just saying i have a business rapport with claire taylor um and so when i contact her and did the off you know made an offer basically i offered to pay whatever anyway i'm not getting into that but let's 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 just say that so you know um my thing is is that you know it's it's no hard fast rules with how people sell their dolls you know there's times where i sell my dolls straight out there's times where i sell my dolls on ebay there's times when i sell my dolls on instagram or facebook you know i rarely like do a sales thing on youtube but i do try to let you guys know but most of the time i just end up on facebook or instagram because i can kind of see who i'm dealing with better like that so um that's you know that's pretty much how it it went but you know it's like there's no hard fast rules like claire teller and any other artists don't have to sell their dolls all the same way they don't have to sell them one way there's no rule saying that oh the whole edition have to be auctioned off and then it's like you know <laughs> that's what i hate selling selling is the worst part for me but that's the thing that people um you know you can't please everyone because you got the same group of people that's so upset about her doing auctions but yet when she sell the doll by straight out they got to make a deal out of that too so it's like you damned if you do and you damned if you don't um it's like you know, like I told you guys before, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, a lot of collectors said, well, you know, you don't know what the price was when when you do the solid auctions. But, you know, you don't know what the price is when people do customs. You don't know what the price is when the people do buy it now. Because when, when people do those, they don't publish them. They don't publish the price publicly. So, um, now, you know, you buy it direct. People still don't know unless I tell you, unless she tell you, you know, you can assume, you can speculate, but you still really don't know. So, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. It's like, it goes back to what I say. Every doll is worth only what you're willing to pay. And only you're going to make that determination. Nobody's going to force your hand to do anything different. Um, but, you know, this is why I am not a part. I'm, I'm glad that I'm not a part of this group that they got going on. It's supposed to be a Claire Teller fan page. But from what I'm hearing from other people that are in that group, it is um, becoming more of a complaint page and more of a vent page and 
hell I would if I was a seller I would feel more like it was a hate page now the funny thing here's here's here's, here's the um the whole gag there are a lot of stuff talking about people shouldn't bid don't bid and all that but the main administrator of the group is the one that was buying all the dolls so you let somebody tell you tell me tell me guys if this makes sense you let somebody tell you don't bid on the doll so everybody don't bid on a doll so you'll say y'all don't bid the auctions are crazy but then but then you end up with every doll okay sound like to me you trying to cut out your competition so that you can get the doll lower and then you sell it two days later so are you selling it for more or less oh i don't know i'm not you know i'm not saying one way or the other but i'm just saying that you know it's just interesting how that works but then i mean it's it's just crazy like you know, this is why a lot of people choose to be private collectors because a lot of people don't have time to deal with all this foolishness. Like, you get a baby, you're excited about the baby, and then, you know, you got, then you got to have these few people. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not, I'm not irritated or anything because, you know, I'm used to it now. Whenever I get a new baby, these same group of people come after me. It's like with this mob mentality that like, you know, the little, um, you ever seen Christian bullies? Okay. I don't even, I, I know those two words don't seem they should go together, but you got the pris, you know, the pris, you know, little good girl that do this soft hey guys so the weather today is and then they go in and they're a little soft voice but you know try to talk about people and stuff like that and do other little side shady stuff and you know it's like it just i don't know but i'm used to it but it's like gosh for one second just let somebody live you know let them, let them be okay with you know it it's okay like so me and another collector end up getting number two and number three and we didn't do auction it's like yeah it's like it's not a sin um at least i don't feel like it is i don't know about you guys but I, I just feel like people can do whatever they want. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is, is that this is, this is the thing. Like I told you guys before, I don't buy from anybody that I don't trust. And um, even with this baby, it was almost a blind purchase. It was kind of like, I'm not really done yet. But it's like, no, I didn't want to wait to, you know, they get done. So it was almost like bought sight unseen because I know once everybody else see them it's not gonna be just me going after them so you know it you I feel like Claire Teller was not feeling well and she just didn't want to be bothered with the whole auction thing and we had perfect timing when we came in and made our offers or whatever I just seen opportunity and I took advantage of it sorry I had you know I know that might sound bad but I did I took advantage of it and I'm happy because I really truly love 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 him and um you know the first baby um Noah I did the offers you know, an auction style. And then him, I did, I did this straight out. So I've done both ways. It's whatever you you really want, you're going to go after. Um, but this hobby has so many different facets to it. And um, it's like, you know, people don't understand. 
you got to be careful what you ask for because sometimes we push we we pushing people pushing people pushing people you know um one way and then things might go another way and you and then you don't really like it it's like okay so yeah so no there was no photos published of him um because i believe that um, because she wasn't feeling well. I don't even know if she really, um, took a whole lot of, you know, great pictures. I just, I'm like, just send them to me, you know what I mean? So that's why I was just so excited to see him because, you know, it's like, it's like the real thing, babe. But yeah, so guys, like I said, I'm I'm really excited. And then um, I know this is at the end of the video, but I did want to say that Embrace and Reborn Cat came made a comment and said that he remind her of Taylor. And yes, I said the same thing. The Vivi that I had, his face painting is kind of he kind of got that that way going. Like he has his face is lighter, like have that lighter glow to it versus his um his body and it's not just like it's two different colors it's blended because the way she did it and i'm not gonna go into the tech technical side of it but i can see how she did it to where he don't look like he's mixed mismatched but he does if you just look at his face he looks a little bit more caucasian but when you see him all together you could tell that he's you know a light biracial but he is very light but he she did a different paint style on him and like i said um noah is very model too and i i was looking at them and they actually have just as much detail both have just as much detail but he his show up differently and he has a different texture on him it just everything looks different that's the thing but anyway, so I will talk to you guys later. But thanks for watching, guys. And I hope that answered your question. Um, so, yes, he was bought straight out. And um, so, yeah, so I don't know, you know, how the future dolls will be done. But I do know that's what we did here. And so, you know, like I said, there's no hard, fast rules of how people have to sell their babies. It's not unethical to not do an auction and it's like the same p group of people were complaining about an auction so now you're mad because it wasn't an auction i'm confused